Yeah. I'm up. What's the best part about dating a homeless girl? You can drop her off anywhere. <laughs> hey, Mom. You know why God invented yeast infections? <laughs> so women know what an annoying cunt feels like. <laughs> I just want to see your mom's reaction. Hey, Mom. What's easier to pick up, the heavier it gets? I don't know. Women. <laughs> That's the truth. Yes. That's the truth. <laughs> hey, Mom. What's a butthole and a 9-volt battery have in common? We know you shouldn't put your tongue on it, but we do it anyway. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but that's got to be funny. <laughs> hey, Mom. What do you call an anorexic girl with a yeast infection? A quarter pounder with cheese? <laughs> Truth. Hey, Mom. Have you ever realized how, like, hoey girls and Walmarts are similar? Because you all laugh and make fun of them. But once you're inside one at 4 a.m., you're like, God damn, I'm glad these are here. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Hey, Mom. What's a butthole and a 9-volt battery have in common? We know you shouldn't put your tongue on it, but we do it anyway. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but that's got to be funny. Hey, Mom. What's similar about drinking non-alcoholic beer and going down on your cousin? I mean, it all tastes the same, but it just ain't right. <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> hey, Mom. What does the vagina and mafia have in common? <laughs> one slip of the tongue and you're in deep shit. <laughs> That was funny as hell. That was a good one. Hey, Mom. Hmm. What did the blind man say when he walked past the fish market? <sighs> good morning, ladies. <laughs> I already know it, but that's freaking hilarious. Really? Hey, Mom. Hey, Do you know how to find a blind man on a nude beach? It's not hard. <laughs> 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 hey mom hey. so my girlfriend got mad at me because she, she called me cheating on the on her the other day and i mean what was i what, what was i supposed to do she was just laying on the table naked and my girlfriend told me just do the damn autopsy oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey mom why don't old women have sex well, have you tried pulling apart a grilled cheese? <laughs> hey. That fell. Hey, Mom. What's the difference between two dicks and a joke? I can't take a joke. <laughs> That's sick. That's funny. Hey, Mom. I realized me and my girlfriend are kind of like Nike and McDonald's. I'm doing it, and she's loving it. <laughs> you don't get it? What? Hey, Mom. <laughs> What's the difference between a pregnant lady and a light bulb? You can unscrew a light bulb. <laughs> You're sick. Hey, Mom. What's the lesbian version of a cock block? 
the lesbian version of a cock block. A beaver dam. <laughs> the funny part is her mom said, Oh, what? <laughs> A family with a little boy are driving behind a trash truck. As they're driving, a dildo flies out and hits the windshield. In despair to save her son's in innocence, she goes, that was a huge bug. Mom goes, son goes, damn, how's that bug fly with a cock that big? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey, Mom. Huh. Mom. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? No. Uh. <laughs> hey mom. What? Losing my virginity was a lot like learning how to ride a bike. My dad was behind me the whole time. <laughs> you ain't right. <laughs> hey mom. What's the difference between a hippie chick and pizza? I don't peel the crust off my pizza before I eat it. <laughs> you just should have told him. Hey, mom. Hey. Husband and wife are watching TV, and the husband just keeps switching channels from. Golf the porn, golf the porn, golf the porn. And the wife finally has enough of it and goes, Jesus Christ, can you just leave it on porn? You already know how to play golf. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hey, Mom. I recently ran into my ex the other day, and I told her, when I have sex, I always think of you. And she goes, oh, do you still love me? I was like, no, it just helps me from coming too quick. <laughs> <laughs> Three cowboys sit around a campfire bragging about their adventures. The first one says, I gotta be the meanest, toughest cowboy there is. Just the other day, a bull got loose in the corral and I gored six men. I wrestled that some bitch to the ground with my bare hands. Second cowboy laughs. He says, that's nothing. I came across a rattler on the trail the other day, grabbed it around the neck and bit its head off, drank its venom down in one gulp. I'm still here today. The third cowboy remained silent, slowly stirring the embers of the fire with his penis. A man gets caught cheating on a woman, and they're having a heated argument while driving to her mother's house. The woman gets so mad, she reaches over and cuts the man's penis off, throws it out the window. The detached phallus hurls through the air and lands on the windshield of the car behind them, sliding off the side. The car is being driven by a dad and his nine-year-old daughter. The father, not wanting to expose his daughter to the horror of reality, looks over with big eyes and says, Wow, did you see the size of that bug? The daughter looks at her dad with a wide, surprised eyes and says, That was a bug? It sure was, says the dad. Well, the daughter thinks about it for a little while and finally says to her dad, Well, it sure had a big dick. So there was a farmer, his son, and the only animal on the farm that survived the winter, a duck. One day, the farmer was sitting down paying off the bills when he realized they were broke. He told his son to go into town and sell the duck for as much money as he could get. Well, he came across the prostitute that was pretty ugly. She looked straight at the boy and said, Cost ten dollars if you want some. The boy said he had no money and started to walk away. But she stopped him and said that she would take the duck in his hands instead of the ten bucks. The boy gleefully accepted, so they went off and had sex. An hour later, the boy was leaving. She pleaded that he uh, come back and do it again because it was the best she'd ever had. She offered him the duck back, and they went at it again. Well, another hour passes, and the boy heads home, the duck in hand. On the way, the duck gets spooked and flies from his hands, goes right into the path of an oncoming car, obliterating the duck. The man driving the car gets out and apologizes to the boy. He hands him 25 bucks for his trouble and gets on his way. Later, the boy goes home and hands his father $25. Well, his father noticed that his son looks exhausted and asked him what happened. The boy's reply said, 
Well, I got a fuck for a duck, a duck for a fuck, and 25 bucks for a fucked up duck. One day, a boy comes home from school and says, Dad, I need to know the meaning of hypothetically and realistically for school. So the father replies, Go ask your mother if she'd sleep with a man for a million dollars. So the little boy goes and asks, and sure enough, she says yes. His dad says, Okay, now go ask your sister if she'd sleep with a man for a million dollars. So he does, and of course she says yes. So the father says, You see, son, hypothetically, we're sitting on two million bucks, but realistically, we're just living with a couple of whores. A cop was patrolling at night in a well-known area for couples parking. He saw a couple in the car with an interior light on. He got a little closer to the car and saw a young man behind the wheel reading a computer magazine. And the young woman, she was in the rear seat knitting. Puzzled by the surprising situation, the cop walked over to the car and knocked on the window. Yes, officer? What are you doing? Well, isn't it obvious I'm reading a magazine? Pointing to the young woman in the back, the cop asked, and her, what's she doing? The man shrugged. I I believe she's knitting a sweater. Well, the cop, totally confused, a young couple alone in a car at night and nothing obscene happening. What's your age, young man? Well, I'm 22, sir. And her? What's her age? The young man looks at his watch and says, well, she'll be 18 in about 20 minutes. One day, a man wakes up with a red ring around his penis. He can't figure out what it is, so he goes to the doctor. The doctor hands him a tube of cream. Here, put this on and the ring will be gone within an hour. The man goes home and puts it on, and sure enough, the ring's gone within an hour. But then, the next day, he wakes up, and the ring is there again. He goes to the doctor, and the doctor hands him the same cream, which he puts on. The ring vanishes, only to reappear the next morning. This goes on for a few days before the man finally asks, Doc, the cream you've been giving me takes away the ring, but comes back every morning. What have you been giving me? The doctor hands him another tube of it before replying, Lipstick remover. Three couples went to see a minister to find out how to become members of the church. The first couple was retired, the second couple was middle-aged, and the third couple had just gotten married. Well, the minister said they'd have to go without sex for two weeks and then come back and say how it went. Two weeks went by and the couples returned to the minister. The retired couple said it was no problem at all. The middle-aged couple said it was tough the first week, but after that it was no problem. The newlyweds said it was fine until a wife dropped a can of paint. A can of paint, exclaimed the minister. Yeah, said the newlywed man. She dropped the can, and when she went to bend over to pick it up, lust just took over. I had to have her right there, so I lifted up her skirt, and, well, the minister stuck out his hand and told the man he could say no more. He said he was sorry, but they weren't welcome at the church. He said, that's okay. We're not welcome at the hardware store anymore, either. Bill worked in a pickle factory. He'd been employed there for a number of years. He came home one day to confess to his wife that he had a terrible compulsion. He had an urge to stick his penis into the pickle slicer. His wife suggested that he should go to a sex therapist to talk about it. But Bill said that he'd be too embarrassed. He vowed to overcome the compulsion on his own. One day, a few weeks later, Bill came home absolutely ashen. His wife could see that something was seriously wrong. What's wrong, Bill? Well, do you remember how I told you the tremendous urge I had to put my penis in the pickle slicer? Oh, Bill, you didn't, she said. Yes, I did. My God, Bill, what happened? Well, I got fired. No, Bill, I mean, what happened with with the pickle slicer? Oh, she got fired, too. Why did I get divorced? Well... Last week was my birthday. My wife didn't wish me a happy birthday. My parents forgot. So did my kids. I went to work. Even my colleagues didn't wish me a happy birthday. As I entered my office, my secretary said, Happy birthday, boss. Well, I felt special. She asked me out for lunch, and after lunch, she invited me to her apartment. Well, we went there, and she said, Do you mind if I go in the bedroom for a minute? Okay, I said. Well, she came out five minutes later with a birthday cake. My wife... My parents, my kids, my friends, my colleagues, all yelling, surprise, while I was waiting on the sofa, naked. A man was driving down the road with his monkey in the back of the van. He sees a hitchhiker and picks him up. They were going down the road talking when the monkey came flying up front and unzipped the driver's pants and just goes to town on him. The man slaps the monkey and makes him go back to the van. 
Well, a few minutes later, the same thing happens again. The hitchhiker says, man, that was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. The driver says, you want to try it? Hitchhiker says, yeah, sure. Just don't hit me that hard.